With voting now closed in some states, the race between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris for the White House is reaching an intense and nerve-wracking climax. Across the United States, polling stations have seen high turnout, with early voting and on-the-day voters coming out in droves. In Washington, D.C., the atmosphere is charged. Security around the White House and Capitol has been strengthened in anticipation of public reaction, regardless of the outcome. As results start coming in from states in the Eastern time zone, the election hangs in a delicate balance, with both Harris and Trump fighting for critical swing states. Harris's supporters are hopeful and energized by the potential for historic change, but remain apprehensive about potential unrest. Security measures are evident as barricades surround federal buildings, and storefronts are boarded up in anticipation of any possible disturbances. Reflecting on the trauma of the January 6th Capitol riot, Washington residents are anxiously aware of how the post-election period may unfold if results don't favor Trump. Early exit polls show a significant number of Americans are unhappy with the current direction of the country, with feelings ranging from frustration to anger. Despite these shared sentiments, the divide in voter preference is marked by demographics and values. Harris has managed to lead among younger voters and independents, drawing moderate voters with a vision aimed at inclusivity and reform. Trump, on the other hand, holds a significant advantage among married and evangelical voters, as well as those in rural and traditionally conservative areas, who resonate with his promise to restore the country's economy and international strength. Swing states like Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Arizona are once again the focal points of the race. Pennsylvania, in particular, with its blue wall legacy, is being closely watched. Both Harris and Trump campaigned there in the final days, acknowledging its importance in tipping the scales. Voters in Pennsylvania expressed a mix of hope and trepidation, with some Trump supporters confident in his approach to governing, while Harris's supporters worry that his re-election could unravel the nation's democratic fabric. Local authorities are prepared for any eventuality. In Pennsylvania, election officials are working through some technical issues at polling sites, but assure that all ballots will be counted. Meanwhile, isolated reports of disturbances at polling locations have surfaced, with heightened security in states that experienced issues in the 2020 election. Back in D.C., anticipation builds for Harris's potential victory event at her alma mater, Howard University, where supporters have been gathering. While some residents are planning celebratory events, others brace for several days of uncertainty, expecting the vote count could take time. Campaigners like Miguel Deramo are encouraging people to manage their anxiety by gathering with friends and staying off social media to maintain calm amid the tension. This election may continue to unfold over the next few days, given the high volume of mail-in and early ballots. Despite Trump's vocal demands to call a winner on election night, Harris has urged her supporters to exercise patience and trust the process, emphasizing that every vote counts. This appeal resonates with voters committed to democracy, even as they prepare for what might be an extended, anxious wait. As early results begin to trickle in, the U.S. remains on edge, with a country divided not only by candidate preference, but by deeper differences in vision for its future. The final results, whenever they arrive, are likely to mark a decisive moment in American politics. Stay subscribed for more videos.